idea of using UVC to kill bacteria and viruses has actually been around a very long time. It was first discovered in the late 1880s, but it didn't really come into popular use until the technology was available. And that was closer to the 1990s to 2000s. And so it's very effective at killing bacteria and viruses and acting as a disinfectant in hospitals, healthcare, as well as water and air cleaning applications. UV light is describing a specific wavelength range of light. And most people are familiar with UVA and UVB because UVA and UVB are related to skin cancer. UVC is a shorter wavelength of light, so heading closer to x-rays. UVC works by essentially going in and changing how both RNA and DNA are able to replicate. So there are three primary strategies for cleaning water or air or surfaces. You have a thermal approach, which is basically heat treatment. You have a chemical approach, which is your standard bleach or hydrogen peroxide. And then you have radiation. And radiation can come in the form of microwave radiation or UVC radiation. And usually when you think about cleaning a surface, your immediate thought is going to be bleach. Bleach kills everything. However, bleach also doesn't work very well on water because if you want to treat your water supply, you don't want to poison yourself. And this is where UVC has a huge advantage because you can treat water supplies with UVC without actually causing harm to a person. This is where UVC kind of first found its foothold in industry applications. And then since then, it's now being used to purify air, having robots that can go in and clean hospital rooms. And since it's been commercialized since the mid 2000s, the growth of UVC technologies has actually increased exponentially. So just as an example, the compounds rate of return has increased 16 to 22 percent from 2018 to 2020 and it's anticipated it's going to continue to grow through 2024 to 2026. So in the future, there are lots of different ways that a UVC technology could be leveraged. So a hospital might have one or two of these robotic systems that they would treat almost like vacuum cleaners. And now what's becoming more popular is that every hospital room will actually have a unique UVC system mounted on the wall. And when a patient leaves and is checked out of the room, they'll shut the door and the source will turn on and clean the room all at once. So you could imagine doing something like that in places like grocery stores stores and public transportation to really help society, not just the healthcare system.